what was the, the process of getting you here? Did Dawn call you? Did you put in for the job? How did that, that, that um, I, I received a call from her um, just saying if I, she reached out to Holly and asked because she speak with me. And uh, she reached out to me. I thought it was a dream come true. I thought she was playing, you know, tricks on me because I was about to go on vacation. But uh, she just asked me, would there be any interest? And um, I said, definitely when I come back, I'll definitely, you know, call you and we'll talk. So, Why so much interest in USC? This is home. This is home. I mean, 23 years of going all over the country, coaching all over the country, but there's no place like home. And, um, you know, having the opportunity to be here at this great university and also to coach with a Hall of Famer, an Olympian, you know, a Olymp next Olympic coach, a national champion. You know, I'm pitching myself right now. I can't believe that, you know, this is all happening to me right now. With this team coming off a national championship, what did Coach Staley kind of ask you? She's looking for you to bring to this team. I and mean, what more can, she, can, you, can you bring to this team now? Uh, just, you know, my, my passion for the, for the game. Um, you know, the top notch. She can go and try to find the best player to continue this legacy that she started. Um, and just, you know, my she, she always says about my, ex, ex, uh, my uh, basketball um, expertise. And uh, just be able to help as much as I can. The kids here have been great. Um, just be able to try to help elevate them and um, take them to the next level. We want to continue what has already started. We'll continue to be national champions. Has anything surprised you so far in your short stint here with the team? Uh, just that they are so fun loving. I mean, a lot of them I did recruit, and uh, they were they were like, "You still?" I just asked, like, "Yeah, you turned me down, but I'm back." Just remember, <laughs> that. I remember you hurt my feelings, but um, they've been so warm. Um, it's such a family atmosphere here, and um, I'm just I, I'm still pinching myself like I'm living a dream. It's, it's been great. Jolette, how much have you learned from working with Coach Stringer and, and working in Tennessee before you came here? Uh, just a lot. Just about, you know, you got to, you know, relationships. You know, you got to make sure you maintain them. You got to make sure you cultivate them. And you got to make sure you develop them. And when you develop them and maintain them and cultivate them, you got to learn how to keep them. And um, I just learned that they say, you know, don't ever, ever, you know, hard work never kills anybody. Find a way to get it done. Those are her, those are C. Vivian Stevens words. Be persistent and just, you know, make sure that you know you can't be replaced. Not a bad gig to be able to be uh, going to Tokyo, though, for uh, your first couple of weeks here, huh? <laughs> I was like, wow, Don, uh, can I start in July 1st? She's like, uh, no, you need to get here in two days. I was like, two days? I was like, oh, man. So since I've been here, it's been like hit the ground and running. Um, but it's, it's, been, it's been a lot, a lot of fun, and I'm learning a lot. Gillette, I believe Don said that you had expressed interest in the job a previous time. Did I did. I was that? like, you know, I mean, I was telling her. I didn't think she would believe me. I was like, man, if you ever get an opportunity, you know, I didn't know. I know Boria wasn't going anywhere, and I said Fred's not going anywhere. And I didn't think Nikki would leave, so I was like, if that opportunity, you know, presents itself, you know, call me, and uh, she did. What do you add to this staff? Um, just uh, a lot, a lot of, you know, just years of being in the business. Um, I don't like saying this, but I'm an old head. I've been in this business for 23 years and just an experience and um, you know I'm, I'm a recruiter known as a recruiter known as a you know defensive mind so most people think um, and um, just bring to you know a lot of enthusiasm passion and just you know everything that I have that's in my head I want to help you know challenge Don so that we can continue to cut down nets. Coach I believe when you were at Tennessee and Played down here, had a whole lot of buses from family and friends from Florence come over. How much are you expecting this time for every game? Man, everybody in Florence and Sumter and Lake City, everybody's been calling me like, oh, we're going to be season ticket holders. I'm like, you better get in line quick. <laughs> if, you, if you ever noticed, there, it's not the same when I we, we came years ago. You know, the, the atmosphere and the, the crowd, you know, Gamecock Nation is on fire. So I told my family in Florence, if you're really serious about being a season ticket holder, you might, you might need to apply now. <laughs> Is this something that a lot of opposing coaches, though, because you've been on Tennessee for a while and just seeing this program grow from afar and now you're a part of it, is it something that's caught a lot of coaches by surprise, perhaps, how quickly it's grown? I mean, I'm, I'm, I've never been, you know, I know Don, Don, uh, Don is a hard worker. Don is a great basketball mind, and I knew in a matter of time she would turn this program around. And um, just watching from afar, from when she got here and where it is now, it's, she's, she's done a phenomenal job, and I'm just glad to be a part of it now to help keep it going.